Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be getting every single brawler to 1k in the game currently. So, at the moment, a couple of wins away from getting the last three brawlers to 1k. And just finishing off the end of the season, we're going to be playing with KC and Cursed. I'll put both of their channels in the description below. Both really good players and you've probably seen him in a few videos now, but obviously Cursed, he has top of the ESL leaderboards at the moment with Co Magic Purple. Uh, one of the best players in the game and KC as well. Uh, on Co-Magic Black and he's a, one of the best players as well. Uh, really good friends of mine so definitely check them out. Both going to be starting streaming and YouTube soon so definitely check them out as I said. We're going to be getting every, uh, the last three brawlers, Sprout, BB and Barley to 1k in this video and every single uh, brawler here will be 1k so that'll be pretty decent and then next season hopefully getting uh, every brawler to 1.1k maybe even 1.2 so just definitely stay around for that. Without further ado let's get into the games. I nearly forgot to mention this but I'm actually streaming over on Trovo. I'll put the link in the description below i'll be uh, streaming my number one push and uh, as the same platform as tom did a few days ago i'll be streaming over on there so definitely check it out i'll be giving away a lot of friend links so probably one every like 20 minutes so definitely check it out and as i said i'll be pushing top ladder gameplay so uh, going for that number one spot i believe i probably should be able to get that by the time it's going to be 3 p.m bst to 6 p.m bst three hours long so definitely check it out all right guys so jumping into the first game then so three games away from 1k sprout which is the easiest brawler to push to 1k. So I've left it pretty late. Uh, me saying that. This boy's got a dash in. He might actually score. Actually, no, we were able to get that kill there. Got to be kind of careful of this Jackie. Uh, at a minute at ladder. It's the end of the season. So everyone's really high. And uh, the comments going to be facing are just constantly um, like Jackie, Sprout, M's, uh, that kind of composition. But Morty's actually really good in brawl right now, to be fair. Uh, he counters sprout really really well and other comps like that looking like okay no but don't manage to score i think curse gonna break it up and case okay no curse should be able to get that now no how have we not scored there how on earth have we not scored there okay and i've just chucked mortis on my face to make it worse i'm just gonna run towards curse so we can get the kill okay nice it's a penalty kick with sprout sprout's just completely broken especially on this map it's just a perfect map for him i just keep creating walls over and over again like Casey can get the kill on Sprout there. There's just no way this Mortis can kill me in time. And I'm able to walk that into pretty decent. So I'm actually recording this uh, at midnight. <laughs> uh, just for a video to upload tomorrow. So all 1k is pretty epic. Actually, I'm, I didn't realise we're on Brawl TV. So that's pretty cool. We were literally on Brawl TV like two games ago. So uh, pretty epic indeed. And Curse has got super with Frank. There should be no way we don't score this. And Curse is able to just shoot that in really simply. So that's a, another win for us. Let's hop into the next game. All right, guys, into the next game. And so, actually, comp with facing is kind of toxic. It's Poco. Uh, I think I don't actually know if that's a real gear. I don't think it is. He normally runs a skin on them type of things. But B's going to be pretty toxic once the map opens up for sure. But we're able to get a good goal there. So, <laughs> well played to uh, Curse there. So, uh, actually, we're all going this lane. I want to face the B, though, because I'm going to be able to free shot this B at like, any point in time. Curse just got to walk up. I don't think this is the real GA because uh, his teammates aren't doing much. I've got super here, so let's try and break that. And I've nicked the ball off him, so that's pretty decent. But Casey isn't able to shoot it away, so that's a big F. That is a big F. He should have uh, passed that away for sure. But we've got Sandy Super. We're vibing uh, at this moment in time. And Curse has super, so I'm just going to pass it up. Curse should be able to get a really good value super here. Uh, I'm just going to block this Frank to try and cancel one of his shots. And Curse again with a super just misses. I'm going to pass it off to him though. Uh, maybe he can make something happen. He makes Poco waste uh, his heal there. I'm just going to block a wall there. <laughs> what? That wall is so random. That's one thing we definitely need to fix is these random walls. It's, uh, we need to have like a certain pattern because that is just so random. We're going to be able to take that Poco down. And Curse should be able to walk it in for the win here. Yep. So that's another win. One game away from 1k Sprout. Really easy brawler to play, so I've left it to the end of the season because I wanted to push my hardest brawlers first. But anyway, one game away, let's jump into it. All right, guys, into the next game. So we actually unfortunately lost that one. So got to be putting another Sprout game in here. We're going to be including, I think, four games here, uh, maybe if we win this one. So Sanji's going to be going in on Curse here. We should be able to score this. M's use not back, but Casey's hold for wall, and we should be able to score here. So that's a nice and quick goal. A good way to bounce back so we unfortunately lost the last one but again we should be able to come back pretty easily in this look like Sanji's just gonna go in and die we should be able to get these two this is uh this is a goal here so we're able to win that so so quick 
in uh, just over 30 seconds. Let's jump into the next game. All right, guys. Again, one win away from Sprout. This should be pretty simple. I don't actually know what comp. Okay, they're going Poco. Double tank. Frank should have a field day on our team. I'm just going to break up the grass just so Rosa doesn't annoy us anymore. Cursed. Should be able to get this Rosa down. Okay, I'm going to pass it off. Swim down the left. This Poco's been annoying. Cursed should be able to pinch him with me. Actually, no, Poco's going to heal up. Cursed probably going to go down. Okay, no, doesn't go down. And he's able to heal up. And he's going to Frank super the Rosa. So that's going to be decent. He's got another super. So he's going to be able to launch that again. And uh, got to get this Rosa down. Down. Hopefully, yeah, we can get that one down. Casey okay, so should be able to walk this in. Poco hasn't got enough uh, damage or uh, enough shots, so that's good recognition from Casey. He's able to walk that in, and that's definitely what makes people much better uh, players, especially in Rubble. It's just recognizing how many shots the enemy player has, how much damage they do, and can you walk it in in time. So, definitely uh, what splits the good players from the bad. But looking like KC can just walk this in. Again, it's just a poke over. There's no way they're going to be able to get that in time. And we're able to get the 1k. So getting carried there. But able to get the 1k sprout there. So let's move into the next brawl. All right, guys. So on to Bali then. Two games away. And we'll be getting the 1k Bali as well. We're going to be facing a Sandy in my lane. I uh, didn't actually realize I just walked in a fed. Uh, not really the best. Primo against the Frank. Maybe rough. And a BB against the Frank. Maybe rough again. Uh, but I don't think these guys are too good. This BB is just wildly just swinging. I think we should be able to kill her here. She pops a gadget as well, wastes that. So uh, the main aim, we don't want to feed this pre mode too much. I don't know where he's actually sitting in this moment. I think he's actually sitting there. Yeah, he's sitting there. Uh, actually, somehow keeping in that super. Again, we don't want to feed pre mode, but he's got super. So now he's just going to be able to chain it over and over again against our Frank. I'm going to be able to kill this BB, I believe. Uh, let's just super here. Casey shouldn't be able to score here. Uh, Primo with super is a bit threatening. I'm going to try get the ball off in. I've used my gadgets again. I've got no gadgets left, so a bit painful, but uh, looking like we can at least get the BB down. And now we have Frank super, so we should be able to get a goal with that. So, again, this comp's kind of uh, bad, especially when we're facing a Primo. It's going to be pretty hard. Sandy does count on me as well, so I've got to be really careful and not get free shotted by her. But I've got super, and uh, let's just chain that. I've actually got one gadget left. I thought I used them all, so. Should be able to score here, KC. Should be able to walk this in. Uh, yeah, he's able to walk that in. So, really well played from KC. Again, as I said before, it's really uh, key to recognise when you can walk it in and when you can't. And to be honest, that's really hard to teach people unless you're like in VC or something and you're telling them to do it. Or it's just a matter of just playing the game so many uh, so many times you just learn that kind of interaction. But look like Primo can just score here unless Frank gets a stun off. I can just uh, pass that away. Now, BB walking it on in. I'm able to save it again. Oh, it nearly... Oh, I would have raged so hard if I died and then it rolled in. So, able to get a good defense. 40 seconds left. Uh, this BB's actually going in town, though. Uh, Curse is going to be able to stun. I'm just going to super back. This Primo is going to walk in. I don't want Curse to feed. I think he's going to, though. But uh, he actually manages to get a kill, so that's pretty clutch. Again, 25 seconds left. Um, we're going to try and push up. I've got super in a second here. Uh, Curse with a super, not going to be able to connect. I'm just going to flush them out. And if we corner this, we're going to be able to win. So it's pretty much GG at this point. Uh, unless this Primo gets super by some stretch of imagination. No, nope. so we're able to get a win inside of that game. And we're only one win away from getting a Bali to a 1k. So that's going to be another Brawler to 1k. Let's jump straight into it. All right, so one more game left on Bali. And we're facing a Colt inside of penalty kick probably one of the worst win rates inside of penalty kick so uh famous last words this should be pretty simple so as you're facing a b as well they've better got colt as a wall break so as long as we don't feed this colt we're going to be vibing for sure so b's actually able to kill on nita i don't want to get hit by that 3k so i'm going to keep my distance daryl's going to be rolling in curse gets a wall break i don't think that was a smart idea unless he was going to get a kill uh just because we're going to open up the map and that isn't good for a B. Colt's able to B me there. So I actually think we're in a tough situation. They've got a B. Uh, they've got a Daryl that counts as a Frank. So I've got to be really careful. And this Colt's actually clipping for sure. Should be able to get this Daryl down. Oh yeah, Daryl is down. This Colt's just going to break up even more walls. He just misses all of his bullets from Super. But he's able to get a kill. And now as you can see, the map is open. This is going to be really bad for uh, Frank to really do much. I'm just going to uh, cycle my Super on. B should go down. It's uh, Colt's pretty weak as well. Uh, let's try and get him down. He's actually clipping me here. It's going to be really, really hard to do anything. As I said, they broke up the map pretty uh, quickly here. So, uh, not in the best situation at all. 
Let's get my super here though. Should be able to flush them um, out pretty easily. I think they're both dead. Let's just use my gadget anyway. Yeah, okay. B is dead. Uh, Daryl is dead. Only Colt alive, I believe. Yeah, only Colt alive. So, I mean, we're kind of clinging on for dear life, but looking like we should be able to get a gold when we've got a Frank super for sure. He's going to be using that on the Daryl. Okay, let's get some more shots on him. Let's pass it up to Frank, and he should be able to walk that in pretty easily. So, that is uh, decent. We held on. We kept cycling our respawns, and we're able to get a goal there. So, let's use my super again. Flush out this B. Flush out this Colt. Uh, we don't want any of that. Casey is easily going to be able to walk this in and a super shot that in. So really bad played from them too. Uh, but I'm able to get another 1k brawler. Let's hop into the last brawler that's going to be BB. Alright, so two games away from every brawler 1k. This is pretty brutal hype. I've not even got close to doing something like this. So it will be pretty cool. Looking like Mr. Rico's just spinning around. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing here. So we're able to get a kill on him. But Kurt's going to pass this up. Sprout's going to be super toxic with his walls, so I don't know if he would be able to score. Okay, his teammates just messed that up and walk into that wall, so it just breaks indefinitely. So, that's uh, <laughs> really dumb from that Sprout there. So, next time someone shoots me, I'm just going to pop my gadget here. I'm just going to run into their faces. It looks like this Rico's giving up, though. Uh, they're going to go for the pull, but they're not going to be able to do anything. Let's just run into their faces here, and we're able to get the win. So, one more win away from a 1k BB. Let's get into this last game. Alright guys, so hopefully into the last game uh, with this one. We actually just keep losing and it's actually really annoying. So we should uh, be, as I said, one game away from getting every brother 1k. So probably going to go down to this Mortis here. Actually able to get the kill and we're able to get the spike. So here's a quick goal to start this video off. I mean, start this, uh, get, start this last game off, sorry. Uh, so... I've actually recorded this a couple of times. I just keep losing, so <laughs> it's been so frustrating. It's literally 1 a.m. at a minute, and uh, we just want to get off the game and get this last 1k brawler. I think Mortis is BMing me. I don't know if he's going to score on a goal or what. Uh, I think it's just, as I said, BMing. It's actually on the line, so yeah, as I said, it's just BMing. Uh, really annoying. We want to get all 1k brawlers legit, so I don't really want this guy to throw, but I believe our teammates should be able to score unless this M's has been a bit toxic, but no, it looks like uh, is, we're able to get that win there. So, every single brawler to 1k, we finally got it. Our battle log's just full of L's at a minute, so I'm finally just glad to get that final win. So, as I said, uh, definitely check out Curse and Casey's channels below. Uh, they're going to be starting to post daily content soon. But as you can see here, every single brawler 1k, which I think is a pretty cool achievement, and I'll be hoping to get everyone at least 1.1. Or 1.2 next season so definitely stay tuned for that uh don't forget to like comment subscribe but let me know what videos you want to see from me and i'll see you guys later